Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales, just here today answering a frequently asked question, and that would be the difference between the PX9 and the Cummins L9. So on the right here, with the green dump body, I got a Freightliner 108 SD with the Cummins L9 set at 350 horsepower, and on my left, with the uh, black body here, I got a Peterbilt 348 with the Packard PX9 set at 350 horsepower. So we're gonna look at both of these, try to see if there's any differences. Uh, basically, there is no difference. The Packard PX9 is a rebadged Cummins L9 is what we're gonna see here today. So basically, one of the main differences is the Packard PX9 is painted a really dark gray, almost black, just like all the other Packard engines. And then we have the Cummins L9 in the Freightliner here that is painted red. So basically, you can't get a Cummins L9 in a Peterbilt because uh, they have it already as the Packard PX9. See on the valve cover there, we got the Packard logo. Just kind of looking at the non-turbo side of the engine here, then I'm gonna walk over to the other truck. Just kind of see if there's any differences. Well, we got a little Packard sticker on there. And these are both 2018s as well. I think I forgot to mention that. So, both 2018 and actually both 350 horsepower. So, we'll go ahead and take a look at the Freightliner. So, yeah, very similar there. Basically, I can't see really any differences at all. There's the Cummins logo right there. And got the little Cummins badge right there. So I guess the dipstick is one difference. That's coming out the front instead of the side, but the engine's a little more tucked back under the cab. I'm actually gonna do a comparison video between the uh, Peterbilt 108S, I'm sorry, the Peterbilt 348 and the Freightliner 108 SD. We'll go ahead and look at the other side of the engine here. See if we can spot anything different. So it does say Cummins right there on the turbo. Yeah, decent sized turbo for the little engine here. Looks like we got the um, filter right there as well. I actually don't see an engine tag on this engine anywhere. Go ahead and take a look at the Cummins L9. Yep, same thing, Cummins there on the turbo. Looks very similar except it is coming, they have the exhaust coming straight out of the turbo where they got a 90 degree elbow on the Packard there. Both of them, EGR coolers, right on top of the engine. Uh, looks like a little different coolant setup. Um, the coolant um, plumbing. Let's go ahead and take one more look here at these engines. Yeah, so they got that 90 on there. Looks like actually the turbo set higher on this as well. So it looks like a different exhaust manifold. Uh, got the turbo up in the air there, more covering the EGR cooler. So it might be a little harder to replace your EGR cooler on the uh, Packard version. Yeah, definitely the turbo is a lot lower on this, on the Cummins L9 setup. So got the filter in there, if you could see that in the same place. Um, so yeah, it looks like a little different intake and uh, exhaust manifold on the Cummins L9 setup. That could just be, you know, for fit. So, because uh, it looks like if the turbo was much higher on this 108 SD, you'd be into the air conditioning system and all that stuff. So, yeah, so I guess there is very slight differences, but as far as mechanically, um, the head, the cams, all that stuff, the pistons, the EGR cooler, all that stuff looks identical. Uh, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales. I hope this uh, video uh, answered some of your questions here. Just please give us a call if you have any more questions. Uh, 
regarding the differences here. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a drive in uh, the Peterbilt. That one has a 8LL and the Freightliner has an Allison Auto. So you can look at my review on this 108SD. I'm actually gonna test drive both the trucks and just kind of compare the transmissions as well. Thanks for viewing. Please visit our website, www.trucks2sales for more information. Thank you.